if you don't get vaccinated, you're antisocial. This is what the Dutch Prime Minister and Health Minister told us. You don't get vaccinated just for yourself, but also for others. You do it for all of society. That's what I said. Today, this turned out to be complete nonsense. In a COVID hearing in the European Parliament, one of the Pfizer directors just admitted to me, at the time of introduction, the vaccine had never been tested on stopping the transmission of the virus. This removes the entire legal basis for the COVID passport. The COVID passport that led to massive institutional discrimination as people lost access to essential parts of society. I find this to be shocking, even criminal. Please watch the video until the end. Voor u, mevrouw Smal, heb ik de volgende vraag waar ik een duidelijk antwoord op wil. And I will speak in English so there are no misunderstandings. Was the Pfizer COVID vaccine tested on stopping the transmission of the virus before it entered the market? If not, please say it clearly. If yes, are you willing to share the data with this committee? And I really want a straight answer, yes or no, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Um, regarding the question around, um, did we know about stopping humanization before um, it's entered the market? No. Uh, these, um, you know, we had to really move at the speed of science to really understand what is taking place in the market. This is scandalous. Millions of people worldwide felt forced to get vaccinated because of the myth that you do it for others. Now this turned out to be a cheap lie. This should be exposed. Please share this video. Protein vaccines, we were very good in doing that, and plus many other technologies. Um, mRNA was the technology, but we had less experience, only two years working on this. And actually mRNA was a technology that never delivered a single product until that day. Uh, not vaccine, not any other medicine. So, uh, so it was very counterintuitive and I was surprised when they suggested to me that this is the way to go and I questioned it uh, and I asked them to justify how can you say something like that. But they came and they were very, very convinced that this is the right way to go. They felt that the two years that, uh, of work on mRNA since 2018 together with BioNTech to uh, develop a flu vaccine uh, made them believe that the technology is mature and we are at the cusp of uh, delivering a product. Um, so they convinced me. I, I follow my instinct that uh, they know what they are saying. They are very good. And uh, we made this very difficult decision at that time. Disinformation and misinformation is really a very serious issue, but one of the enemies of public health is disinformation, and unfortunately, we do see that in some quarters. But there are a lot of indications right now that uh, are telling us that there is uh, uh, a protection against uh, transmission of the disease. There is no variant that we have identified that escapes the protection of our vaccine. Against COVID to come now with a treatment of 90% effectiveness, you know, personally makes me a lot very proud about uh, And we know that um, the three, the two doses of the vaccine offer very limited protection, if any. The three doses with a booster, they offer reasonable protection against... It is necessary a fourth boost right now. The protection that you are getting from the third, it is uh, good enough 
actually quite good for hospitalizations and deaths. It's not that good against infections, but doesn't last very long.